What's going on, everybody? Smoother man here. So check it out. Just wanted to talk to you guys real brief about making her respect your time, right? It's very important that as a man of worth, you want them, the women in particular, to respect your time. And this includes even when you're married, right? Even when you're married, you want the woman in your life to understand, to respect your time. <clears throat> So, for example, right, we just, uh, a lot of people were talking about, uh, everybody's been talking about Tommy Lauren, right, or Lauren recently, and how she was talking about how men are trash. And one of the things that she mentioned in regards to how men are trash is how a lot of times, you know, according to her, her, her and her friends or whatever, men are, would text them, but they don't have any plans. So she was like, set plans, set plans, set plans, right? But check this out, fellas, on the other side of this, though, is that when you... Uh, uh, set plans make sure that she's re she respects those plans okay so if you set the if you took the time out to set the plan set the date the place and all of that and then all of a sudden you get a call about talking about she's going to be late right if she's going to be more than five minutes late at the minimum more than 10 max it's off reschedule just be like you know what we're going to reschedule we're going to reschedule same thing with your wife if it's your, even if it's your wife and you told your wife, look, on this day, we're going out. This is the date, the time we're going out. Be ready. And all of a sudden, that time comes and you look. It's time for y'all to leave. And your wife just talking about, oh, I'm, I'm getting ready. To, I'm going to start getting ready now. Nope. Mm -mm. If it's, if it's going to take you more than five minutes to get ready, plans is canceled. Just like that. And don't be afraid. Don't be afraid to do that and stand on that. Because you have, like I said, you have to let them know your time must be respected. So if she doesn't respect your time, more than, like I said, more, more five minutes minimum, at the most, 10 minutes max. More than that, that's it. We, we'll reschedule. We'll talk to you later. And you can't be afraid. You can't, you can't, and you cannot simp, fellas. Don't simp on it. Meaning, don't say, oh, okay, I, I'll wait. I'm going to wait 30 minutes. I'll wait an hour for you to get ready. Nope, no, I'm not. No, I'm not. And like I said, whether, even if, even if it's your wife, if she ain't ready on that time, tell her, you know what? I'm good. Time cancel. We'll, we'll, we'll reschedule. I'll, we'll, I'll, I'll do something another time. And and just like that, and that's it. And walk right off. <clears throat> and if you're on the phone, you hang up. We're going to reschedule. Hang up. Because your time is not being respected. You told her. You gave her the time. You told her this was going to be the time we're supposed to either meet here or we're going to this place. Here's the day, the time. That maybe a day ahead of time to give her a little reminder. So they got no, there's no excuses. There's no excuses to be like it slipped my mind. There's no excuses. Oh, I'm not ready. Nope. <clears throat> nope. And, and, and again, what I mean is don't simp on it. I don't care how fine she is. I don't care how beautiful she is. You not don't worry about, oh, I might not see her again. If it's your wife, don't worry about, oh, she's gonna be upset. What? I'm the one who should be upset. I set the date. I set the time, the place. So she should be worrying about me being upset. So even if it's your wife, don't be, you're not going to be worried about, oh, she's going to get mad or whatever. No, no. I'm the one that's going to be mad. I'm the one who set the plans, the time. I took, I took out my time to do this. And now you're disrespecting it by not being ready. You're going to start getting ready at the time we're supposed to leave, at the time we're supposed to be at the location. <clears throat> mm -mm. Nope. The smooth man does not does not tolerate that. And here's another thing about it. In addition to don't not simping about it, also don't even get emotional about it. Be real smooth. Be smooth as hell about it. When you say, "Oh, you're not gonna be ready on time." How? What? Thirty minutes late? No, no. That's it. That's okay. We'll reschedule. Just like that. Don't get mad. What? Don't don't start yelling. Why? What? I, I thought I talked. Nope. Real cool. You're not gonna be ready. All right, well, you know what? We're going to reschedule. I'll talk to you later. End the conversation. And again, whether it's your wife or you're talking to a significant other, that's how you do it. Don't get into no argument about it. And don't, and damn sure don't simp about it. Just say straight up what it is. It's finished. We'll reschedule and move on. <clears throat> and move on.
All right? Because your time has to be respected. Don't kiss ass. Don't simp. Don't bow down and, and give, and oh, you know, no, I'm going to wait. I'll wait. Okay, yeah, no problem. Nope, it's a problem. It's a problem. It's a damn problem because I, I set the time. Especially, like I said, especially if they talking about, oh, I'm going to be 30, more, 30 minutes late or more. Uh-uh, nope. Hey, I'm not waiting for nothing. I'm not, I, I'm not waiting for you to get ready if it's your wife. I'm not waiting for you to show up 30. No, uh-uh, no, forget about it. It's okay, I'm good. We'll reschedule. End the conversation. Smooth, just like that, real smooth. Real smooth, smooth like, like James Bond. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, fellas, just keep that in mind. Your time has to be respected because you are the smooth man. And the smoother man makes people respect his time and he doesn't tolerate that stuff tolerate such. All right. All right, guys. Appreciate it. I'll check you in the next video. I'm out.